Hello, Possum Stramer Smith here in Alphacraft. And today we're going to do some work on the Wither Skeleton Farm, but we're going to work on the outside, which is a little bit concerning. Um, I'm going to stay in here in the safe, relative safety of the tunnel for the moment. And I'm going to make up a whole lot of stairs. And what else have I got? Oh, I've got those already. So I've got some of those. And we're going to start making a cloister walk around the outside. And some more of those, I think. Okay, let's get started. Uh, first thing I need to do, I need to mark out where all this is going. And the longer I'm out here, the more dangerous it is because I don't want this glass broken. Uh, one, two, and one, one, two. One, one, two, and one, one, two, and one. Almost, but not quite. That. And now I'm going to run this. One, two, three, four, five. And one, and I'm going to do that all the way down to there. And I'm not sure about numbers. I'm just doing this so we don't get with the skeletons out here. So I'm going to do a few and then start from the other end and do a few back and work out what happens in the middle. And there's other things I could be doing. I want to build a new shop at Spawn and I've got people asking me to do that. So I need to get on with that. Still nutting out some things on a creative world. I will get round to it. And I really want to get some train things done too. I'll get round to those as well. Well, we're certainly doing okay for wither skeletons anyway. That's what we wanted. And we end up with a bay that's one wider. I can work with that. That's not too bad. Oh. I might go in and clear them out. Come on, all of you. Come down here. That's it. That's it. Come on. Up on stage. Oh, there's one. Uh, slabbing everything is definitely worth the effort. Back to work. Not quite back to work. Ah, <sighs> oh, there's a gas tear down there. Ah. Oh. We need a quick way down. We don't have one. This is going to hurt a bit. Okay, I'll go around the long way. We need a quick way back up too. I'm going to have to do down here really, really soon. That's getting ridiculous. That's the outside of the cloisters. I don't think that looks too bad. I've got the orange glasses protection. The roof doesn't go up. Oh, that's okay. The roof doesn't go up very high at all. Just that far. And I'm going to bring it round here. Let's turn the cursor back on. I'm going to bring it around here, but there's going to be steps down into the building here that come down there. 
All right, so I've just got to pop down here because I thought I'd finished all the slabbing except for this and I found I hadn't. There was one area where there was still spawnable spots. I've taken it down. Oh, there's been ghasts here. And I just have to fill it in. It won't take long. And then we'll have a look at the cloisters from the inside. I might do a similar sort of cloister thing along here and on the main approach tunnel. Uh, we'll see how I'm feeling. I may be sick of it by the time I get the rest of it finished. So here we are. I don't know if I'll leave this stripe or if I'll fill it in. Uh, when I get the rest of it done, I'll decide. But uh, this is probably just under a quarter because you know this is half. They've got half down there and then we've got the same on the other side. And then I've got to work out what I'm doing with the ends. But... That's our cloister walk from the inside. When we get walls that join up to glass, I might replace this. Not sure. And I've got to work out what to do with this section because it's slightly larger. But that's the start of the cloisters. Now I've just got a lot of grind to do to finish the rest of it. But I don't think we need to do that right this minute. Which of course means that that's exactly what I did. It's all done. Uh, I don't think it looks too bad. You can see why I used the orange now. And we've got stairs, sort of. I'll show you what I mean. I'll have to join this to that, but I'll wait till I do these walls. But I have joined it at the top. This is still ghast central. I mean, it just gets more and more pockmarked. There's damage to the walls, which actually bothers me because um, those spots are now spawnable. And yeah, they're not easy to get to. So that is a real pain, actually. Oh, I don't know what to do about it. Same with up there. We'll have to sort it. Anyway, the stairs. <laughs> As you can see, they don't come quite to the ground. That's because there's going to be a platform here and stairs coming down this way. But they are usable at the moment on this side at least. So we come up and here we are. I've just blocked this off because yeah, thank you. All right, we'll look on this side then if you're going to be like that. Uh, there won't be any glass there. Uh, there'll be a wall here and it will have glass or lava or something. But nothing at the moment. And we've got orange glass on one side. We've got black on the other. And... This at the moment is just blocked off. There will be glass here, but it's going to be relevant to whatever's underneath. So I want to know what I'm doing below before I finish off this. And, oh, hello. Yeah, I, they've come up from below. If we have a look here, it looks a lot brighter than it was, but that's just because it's the orange glass doing that. Yes, all right, all right, don't be impatient. Up you come. Oh, desperate to die. Plus, I've got this set on bright. If I change the setting to moody and take my torch out of my hand, you can see that it's actually not that bright at all. There's no adverse effect on light levels in the farm. It's just the way it looks. And the reason that the blazers are lighting the place up is because I've got dynamic lighting on on Optifine. I love dynamic lighting. Alright, we may as well drag these guys down. They're there, they're desperate. I don't know, with the skeletons, you've already died once and you want to die again. Can't say I understand them. Sorry, I'll just turn that back up. 
Here they come. Well, that is it for the Wither Skeleton Farm to date. There's a lot more to do. I am going to turn it into a temple. I mean, that's obvious. We've got cloisters and everything. But I think I've done enough for today. <laughs> that really has taken me all day. <laughs> and I mean all day. You're looking at about... Oh, it seems stupid, but... About six hours work, seriously? Yeah, I think about somewhere between four and six hours work just because of having to stop and fight ghasts all the time and... I don't know, going backwards and forwards for materials. But hopefully you don't think it looks too bad. I'm going to go this way. It's a little bit quicker for me. I feel like this should be a lot taller, but I am not going to dig all that out to make that taller. Yeah, actually looking at it from here, that's not bad at all. And... Keeping that as something different, I think, will work, particularly if I bring it down like this. Yeah, I like that. That's definitely off to a good start. I think now that we've done that, we might go and reap the fruits of our labour. Because all that work around the Wither Skeleton Farm, three, six, nine... Nine with a skeleton skulls. I've still got another two left, I think. But I think we can fight the wither. And by fight, I mean we're going to trap his head in endstone. Not endstone. Bedrock. We're going to trap his head in bedrock. Oh, if I trapped his head in endstone, I'd be in trouble. Wow. Okay. But if we have a look at this... That's a good sword, but it's not going to be great for fighting undead. We need something with smite on it. So I'm going to make a brand new diamond sword. Uh, I'm going to look through these, see if I've got anything. Got a couple of sharpness threes, that's not bad. Okay, unbreaking and mending. All right. Oh, I need, I need this. We've got plenty of levels. Let's see if we can get something decent. Oh, that's smite too straight off the block. Ah, oh, smite too, I'm breaking too. That's pretty good. Okay. I'll lose the protection because that's for armour, but I don't care. Why can't I put it... Oh, unless you can't use smite and sharpness together. That would make sense. In which case, we'll put that back. We'll grab a mending. And we'll put mending on it. It's not the best sword in the world, but it's not bad. Give it a boring name, Withers Bane, that'll do. And what we might do is knock it down with this and then do the killing blow with that so that we get looting on it. See if we can get a couple of heads. All right, off we go to the end. And I might mend that while I'm at it. Now that we've got the tunnels done, we really should fix up the actual portal rooms themselves. I've got some ideas for the main one, but none for this. I hope stena has got some ideas. All right, bit of repair work first. This is going to be loud. I'll see you in a minute. Fighting a wither properly stresses me out so much. Doing it this way, walk in the park. And I know that Mo Young, I think, have fixed it or will fix it for 116 or have fixed it for 115 too, so this doesn't work anymore. So I'm going to make hay while the sun shines. Put the tail on the post. 
make your T-shape, add three heads and step well back. There we go. Oh yeah, we're taking him down pretty quickly. I think he's facing us. Switch to the other one. Woohoo! A star and a head. All right, let's go again. Ah, uh, just the star that time. All right, one last one. And now we just wait while he makes up his mind about blowing up. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Not a happy chappy about having his head stuck, but then, you know, I can't blame him. But... I'd much rather fight him like this than do it properly. I've done it properly, it's scary. No, just the one head. Oh well. And getting home is as simple as this. Ta-da! Alright, I've got enough stars now for four beacons. I just have to work out where I want them. Oh, having been in the nether for so long, it's a little weird being out here. <laughs> in the sunlight, under the open sky, not having to worry about ghasts or lava. Still have to worry about creepers though. And I still have to finish this shop. This half of it's little more than a facade. And now, a roof. Hooray for the roof. Yay. Um, yeah, that's it. So we can take that down. There we go. I'm going to get a little bit of open air building. I'm just going to put the sides on this, work out what's in the floor and close in the stairwell. <laughs> Nothing terribly exciting. Um, I think with fighting ghasts and building cloisters in the nether and three cheesed withers, <laughs> I've had enough excitement. And after all that, I'm running out of cobble and stone, so I'm off to do an extended mining session. In the meantime, there's a link to a video on the screen right now. Click through, have a look, see what else I've been up to. And I will see you next time. Bye.